Well, summertime's almost here, and some people across the country are seeing their hottest temperatures of the year. Fox's Joy Addison joins us live now with more on that story, Joy. Hi, Christine, that's right. I'm here in Houston, and this thermometer tells me that it is 99 degrees. And here in Houston, as well as nearby San Antonio and Miami, uh, we are all under an excessive heat advisory. And that's because today and into the weekend, we could see our heat indexes rise to 114 degrees. And that's what these temperatures feel like to the body. And it's causing a lot of people to change their plans for the weekend. I think that it's maybe dangerous to do sport outside when it's like hot like this. Uh, I'm playing soccer, so I don't have a choice sometimes. But I think they managed to put the, you know, the games at 8 p.m., things like this, so that uh, we can play safely. Houston, McAllen, Waco, and many other areas in Texas are seeing the hottest temperatures of the year. This excessive heat stretches across the southern plains with triple-digit temperatures across parts of Texas, Florida, and Louisiana. Heat indices push closer to 114 degrees. That can lead to heat exhaustion or heat strokes. One Houston doctor says he's already seeing issues with people who work outside since the temperature has gone up way up recently. Uh, we have seen more cases of uh, people with heat exhaustion. Um, I don't really know the exact numbers, but I would say, you know, we can tell that, you know, based on the type of patients, we've had more construction workers, we've had more elderly, uh, young folks as well. Uh, so it's definitely going up. High humidity is also adding to the heat index and causing the temperatures to feel much hotter than they actually are. And we could continue to see record temperatures into the weekend. Dr. Alan Lowe with HCA Houston Healthcare offered some tips on avoiding heat exhaustion and not ending your summer day in the ER. In terms of hydration, you know, the, uh, we're supposed to, particularly in this heat, be about 20 ounces for 20 every 20 minutes of extreme heat. Now, obviously, that varies. Stay inside as much as possible. Um, you know, there is not a need to be outside in this extreme heat, particularly if you're older, pregnant, children. You know, stay inside if you can. Signs of heat exhaustion include confusion, slurred speech, excessive sweating, and a high body temperature. So doctors warn to make sure that you know these tips um, as we head into the weekend and other areas across the Sun Belt could see these record temperatures. In Houston, Joy Addison, Fox 5 News. Yeah, I love the heat, but you got to be so careful out there. All right, thanks so much, Joy.